This video demonstrates an arthroscopic bank cart and rump massage using knotless soft anchors. This is the left shoulder and anterior supralateral portal is established above the biceps tendon. The cut is made next to a spinal needle and an 825 threaded cannula is inserted. An anterior portal is established as well. We want this portal to be just above the subscapularis tendon so we get a good approach to the inferior aspect of the glenoid. Scope then directed to the anterior supralateral portal. Posterior portal is established and bone loss is measured and we measure the hill sacs interval to assess if the lesion is on track or off track. In this case there's minimal bone loss. An elevator is used to prepare the labrum from the anterior portal. We use a curette to remove about a millimeter of cartilage so that we can place anchors on the edge. In this way the labrum can be brought up right to the glenoid. We use a shaver to remove soft tissue but do not remove any additional bone. Here we can see the tear extends posteriorly. So first we're going to place a posterior anchor. This is a straight guide through posterior portal. We drill. This is a 1-8 drill. We're going to place our knotless soft tissue anchor. This has a number two suture attached. Anteriorly I'm going to place another anchor after the posterior suture has been engaged. This is our knotless fiber tack anchor. This is a number two suture as can be seen here. So there's a knotless mechanism within the sheath of the anchor itself. The curved guide really lets us get inferior and we're allowed to do this because we have the all soft anchor so we can get as low as possible with that guide. We want to get down to about the 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock position. We're then going to shuttle our sutures. This can either be done through a posterior portal or the anterior portal. In this case we're going to use a tight left curve passer to do that through an anterior portal. The blue repair suture is shuttled through the labrum in a simple fashion. We then need to retrieve the shuttling stitch. This is the stitch with a loop on one end. We can then shuttle the repair stitch into the anchor itself to engage that knotless mechanism. Here we can see the suture is now shuttled into the anchor. And as we continue to pull, we can tighten the labrum down to the glenoid. You see we have a nice low profile knotless repair. And then from here we simply work up placing two additional anchors. This is our next anchor placed at about the four o'clock position. Again a left curved suture lasso and we tighten down our knotless mechanism. Another anchor is placed above that. In this case this individual has a on track lesion. However she's a lax female and because of this I'm also going to do a rump passage. It's important to place the inferior anchor first. That way your view is not obstructed when the superior anchor is placed. This is placed in a percutaneous fashion. These are each place your separate posterior percutaneous incisions. Again this is a 2.6 millimeter drill for this particular soft tissue anchor. And then we go superiorly and I already have one sutures out one of the percutaneous incisions and I'm going to retrieve all the sutures again out that same incision from the superior anchor. I've done that after I've bluntly cleared the subacromial space. Then I can simply interlock the two anchors to create a double mattress suture and I can do this because this is a knotless mechanism so I can do this in a blind fashion. I tighten down reciprocally and there you can see the remplissage completed with the posterior capsule engaged into the hill sacs defect and there's our final repair. 